I'm here at kind of a core reason because these conversations intergenerationally are not happening anywhere in American Jewish life. And when we talk about Jewish, at least in a room like this, people are, are they're people really invested. We're invested psychologically. We're invested financially. We're invest, invested politically. We're invested socially. And so deep disagreements and a, and a genuine honesty is very painful. I am assuming that people with the margins the psychological margins, the economic margins, the physical margins, the kinds of educations represented in this room, especially by the people who are alumni of JT, that actually you have the capacity to understand that we are in your imagining phase. So talk. Talk. No, no. Talk. I understand anxiety as a normal response to change. However, I think it is futile to in any way act against it. I think that there is molding it, I think that there is shaping it, I think that there is having your own opinion and contributing in some kind of significant way. Judaism was practiced in the time of the temple, and I'm not sure that's a Judaism that I would be, as a woman, be interested in being involved with. And so I feel like assimilation is a means for me to be involved in Judaism in a way in which it's relevant. People will begin to dissociate key Jewish values of theirs with actually being Jewish and stemming from Judaism. I had this conversation with my mom. Mommy, what would you do if I married someone who wasn't a Jew? Yeah. And for lack of a better word, I think she'd have Kenahara. In recent years, she said, you'll understand eventually, but there's a certain set of values that you get from growing up in a Jewish home that converting, while well, that's a nice sentiment, it's not going to be the same. I find myself totally on the other end of the spectrum. I find myself to be pretty Jewish. I identify with my Judaism, but totally not with the spirituality. So we're talking a lot about, I guess, what Judaism does for us. And I'm wondering if anyone, I want to just like throw this out there, if anyone thinks that we maybe have an obligation to remain Jewish and to call it Jewish. And you say like that we have a responsibility and that it's really great to be Jewish, but Jewish means something different, as you've seen to every person in this room. That it pays for us as J-Team to take real seriously the possibility of being the choreographers and creators of the future. I'm interested to see in how to cultivate these conversations with the best of the brightest about the future of what this thing called Jewish that's been knocking around the planet 3,000 years with one fantasy, that somehow the world could be improved because we're here.